Many thanks for joining this um, open air provide community calls so dedicated to all those that are contributing to the open air infrastructure as data sources. Thank you for joining. This is the first call of the of the of the year. I hope that we have more. Usually we have eight, nine, ten community calls in order to present the um, the, the novelties, the recent developments in, in, in open air, uh, the provide dashboard the services, features that we have available for repository managers, for data source managers, Chris system managers, uh, publishers, etc. Uh, so usually we have a, a, a specific topic uh, in each call. In fact, in this one, first one is only to address uh, some of the developments and maybe you can suggest some some developments um, for us to work on 2023 we will um, mention what uh, plans do we have for this year but of course we can accommodate uh, two or three new developments if we realize that they are really relevant and we can do it on, on, on time. Uh, so development plans, a bit of information about the onboarding uh, of data sources in EOSC, a bit of information about um, research, um, the, the open air research graph, also something about the campaign that we want to, to do this year for uh, updating uh, the compliance with, uh, with open air guidelines. So it's a, it's a conversation. Uh, there are also my colleagues here that can support me, Leonidas and Dimitris and Andre. So feel, feel free to, to, to jump in and to, and to, and to give some more information, at least in terms of the, the coming actions and the developments. I think it's good if you can also present a bit, Leonidas, about the, the campaign, Dimitri is about the, the counter five, and then they also about some of the figures that we have here to present. Feel free to, to, to say something in order to have more people in, 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 in the hall of you. So you can write in the chat or you can share directly using your audio, um, your thoughts about if you have any question, any doubt about the way that uh, you are your data source is being aggregated or the way that you are managing the data the, the, the dashboard feel free to to ask this is the, the this is uh, uh, we have it useful for for this kind of of requests if you have okay so let's let's try to to share with you some updates and then to discuss a bit the developments and the the, the action plan that we have for for, for this year and uh, and also feel free to suggest topics uh, to for, for community calls. In, in fact, we have one slide with two topics that were suggested in the in the form that we have the survey that that, that we have available. So let's start with the the, the, the some 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 recent news or some uh, reminders about uh, novelties that we had uh, over the past months. Um, really imp important in terms of the information from your data source that is visible in the open air services research graph the explore and all the the connections that we have for different um, uh, apis and for different services uh, content was updated on the portals uh, um, just before the end of the year 28th of december so if you be aware of that so uh, in explore you can check that um, you can check uh, when we have aggregated the content from your data source and the content is now visible uh, publicly visible in the in the services from from open air in this web page uh it's where we present usually what what we what are let's say the, the major differences and 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 uh, and uh, and the integrations in in our in our infrastructure uh, when whenever we do this update we, we try to keep the community informed um 
feel free also to contribute if you have some time now during the community call or just after. Um, Andre can, can put here the, the link for the survey. Uh, the idea is just to gather some opinions about um, things that are working well, things that are not working so well, suggestions to improve features or to have new features based on the, the type of information that we can provide in, in the dashboard, for example. Feel free to, to give us your feedback. I think it's important. We have already uh, uh, some replies, some 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 people that have uh, provided that the, this. So uh, so Andre already shared the link to the survey. So it's it's really a simple survey, and you can contribute. And I think it's good. Uh, uh, there are some services that open air from open air that is clearly open air. Uh, technical team that provide the developments for the community, but uh, really things around the provide, I think it's important to have the feedback because you are part of the infrastructure. So it's good that we have this uh, interaction. Uh, we try to put these uh, suggestions in the, in the, in the public roadmap. Uh, we, we try to keep this um, up to date. Uh, sometimes we have some delays, sometimes we, we passed two or three months and we realized that we didn't update the roadmap, but uh, so go there and see. Uh, and then you can also suggest some things directly in the Trello board that we have available to make um, the process of development of the of the of the the provide related service when it comes to the dashboard, to the to the validator. Uh, to the broker event, so uh, we have this available in this public uh, roadmap. To the um, and the, and the last is is, uh, is is also something related to the fact that we have the the index uh, update. So there is a new research graph temp available uh, with some novelties in the documentation. Uh, uh, so it's it's important. To, um, for you to check uh, or to give the information for those that that this information may be relevant. Uh, new documentation website with providing details on the data sources and technologies at the back end. There is a beginner's kit to 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 make more clear what is the research graph of open air. Okay, um, and this is uh, this is important. Uh, and there are also new indicators that are available in the in the graph, which is important also from our users counts and from uh, BibFinder. Uh, they are now part of of the the graph content. Let's say okay. So be aware of this. So be aware that you have this web page here. Uh, in graph.openair.eu, there is a docs page where you have more information, um, and it's it's important. And uh, you can have here the the, the, the data model. So some information was already there, but we 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 did some updates. So I think this is important for you to understand. Um, what is part of the graph or uh, what is the data model so what are the type of entities that we will link together in this in this uh, graph um, so i think this this is quite uh, important for you to to understand uh, for you to consume the graph content in uh, in third party services or for you to realize that your content as part of as data source of open air is also um, made available via this this graph and with the links and enrich it via this this graph which is i think it's important relevant also to say that there is a record in the node where this information is uh, is available so every time that we do an update the the Let's say the raw data is available, is made available here. You can see the versions, okay? Uh, the versions from the different um, from the different uh, um, updates that we do. So the last one was on on December thirty. Uh, so it's important for you to be aware or to share with with with, with someone else. Uh, 
Um, there are some explanations. Uh, so be aware of that. So information in this graph.openair.eu website and also the dumps that we have in, um, in OpenAir. Uh, then, sorry, in the node and uh, update it. And when, whenever we update, we generate a new version, as you can see. Okay. For information that I, I gave. So now, from now on, feel free to ask questions, to, to, to comment in the chat, or to simply to uh, yeah, this is important. What what Irina is mentioning here in the chat is important. Maybe we can uh, improve the in the documentation this um, the Microsoft Academic Graph. It's important to say that the last version of the Microsoft Academic Graph is incorporated in OpenAir, but it's true. Uh, so uh, the micro Microsoft Academic Graph. Um, finish in December, in, in the end of 2021, but we have the content. Um, and I am not aware of, of uh, I know that we, Open Alex, Irina is in the, in the radar, uh, because I, I spoke with uh, Open, uh, Paulo Mangi as the CTO of Open Air, but I, 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 I don't have, uh, I don't have uh, any, any specific information if we are going to integrate or not or to interlink something okay but uh, if 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 someone else from open air present here knows more than me uh, in fact it, it's a pity because i i wanted to have uh, paul or Tanasis uh, that are relevant people managing the the, the graph present here, but it will not be uh, available for today. So to just to present some of the novelties of the graph and maybe they were aware of these questions. So, uh, but it's important to, to, to be aware of this because usually we have this question about the Microsoft the game graph. So we have the content, so it's, it's there. At some point we need to, to change it for other thing, but uh, so. Relevant updates in 2022, and feel free to ask questions uh, whenever you want, or or to share or to. So, what what was important uh, in terms of the dashboard, um, and, and, and and we did we did an update, and because of that update, we had some bugs uh, in the registrations in the in the validator, but now things are are solved. Uh, um, now we have a better instance where we test the developments and then we put it in production, but there was some kind of disalignment between the tests we did in, in beta and what we did, what we put in available in production, but now things are solved. So important. We have only one process of registration for repositories, data repositories, data archives, literature repositories, publication repositories, hybrid repositories, whatever we call it. They are in one single process of registration. So we, we don't have the registration for that and the registration for literature. We don't have the, the processes we had in the past where the, we follow process to register data repositories, receiving information from re 3 data and for literature receiving information from open door. Now we have in the same process, the, author, the, the content from the authoritative directories gather. Open door, read three data, and the uh, fair sharing. They are the aut um, authoritative directories for us to manage the registration process. Okay. So when you want to register, you will find the information. You need to be registered in one of these three directories, fair sharing, read three data, or open door, and then we 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 follow the you follow the process and then the validation. So um so the second is the, the fair sharing as an authoritative directory is available, uh, which is, is relevant. And uh, you can see also this integration visible in other services of open air, not only the provide, but also the, the explore. Um, finally, also in the, in the second um, half of, of, of last year, we, we have a, an interface to 
proceed with the registration of Chris systems. Uh, since 2021, we had the validator, we improved the validator in the beginning of the year, last year, and now we have the registration uh, to facilitate. We are aware of a dozen of Chris systems that have already registered that, but we need more. So there are more uh, Chris systems. We, we are in touch with the Euro Chris. We, we work together, but if you have a Chris system in your institution, or if you know in your country, so be aware that the process is now facilitated. And here also we have an integration with an authoritative directory that, that is the DRIS, the Directory of Research Information Systems from Eurocris. Okay, you need to be registered in DRIS, and then you are part of, of, of this registration process. And the bug fixes were, were already fixed. Not all, we have two or three issues from um, past problems with uh, with some repositories or aggregators. Not 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 a lot, but uh, things are almost all solved, which is good. There are some pending help desk tickets. I don't know how many. I'm looking to Andre, but the, but I I think the majority is solved. And if you have uh, if you have any requests, be aware that um, uh, you need to contact us via a new help desk system that we have, and you just need to send an email to helpdesk.openair.eu, um, and, and we will manage with the right person. And we are responsive in that new ticket system, but we know that sometimes people, even if we already delete the links to the whole so help desk system, we know that people still send some requests because the, the URL is still open, but not linking in the portal. But be aware that if you want to send us a, a, any issue, any problem, send us an, an email to help desk. Okay, some, some numbers, uh, just because we are in the beginning of the year and we can look uh, back to the to the to the to have some figures from from 2022 and some total numbers from from the data sources that are that you are part of. Uh, so in terms of number of repositories, CRI systems, aggregators, majority national aggregators, or, or, or some thematic uh, specific aggregators, and we also have. Here, the compatibility level, which is critical in terms of the numbers that we have for the basic compliance driver and the version two, because we need to work with them in order to uh, improve it. And we can see that uh, half of those data sources need to a bit uh, work on an update. We are aware of several from the version two or the driver that in fact is just uh, is, 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 is simple to, 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 to update it because in fact they are already using um, software versions, software platform versions compatible with version three, uh, for example, in terms of, of, of this space, for example, but um, they are not yet registered as, as uh, mentioning specifically version three or version four. So we know for some, it will be simple for others. It will uh, be, we will have more work, but we will talk about this campaign that we need to do this year. So every time that you want to, to speak, feel free. Development plans and requests from the community. So we have these six updates, six um, topics, sorry. And here, uh, so uh, I also give the floor to my three colleagues, Leonidas, Dimitris, and Andre, that are supporting. If you want to say something, feel free, if you think that it was not sufficient from my side. The first one is about the campaign. We have some slides after this, just to clarify the campaign. We already dedicate some time to this campaign in the last community call. Uh, maybe it's not so critical for you, it's not critical for others. The, com the campaign is just because it's is, is, is mainly for two reasons, uh, but the most important reason is uh, uh, related also with, uh, with, uh, with the IOSC, the IOSC infrastructure, but it's important to understand that uh, uh, compliance with, with guideline 3 and 4.0 make our infrastructure more rich, make our graph with more um, 
uh, potentialities to <clears throat> to to improve the links between the different entities, uh, to improve the quality of the metadata, etc. So be aware of that. This is one of the reasons, and the other reason is, is in fact that. Uh, Guidelines 3.0 and 4.0 are the, 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 the starting point to, to, to be part of the YOSC research product catalog. So we will not, um, uh, if, if you are not compatible with the uh, 3 or 4, uh, you, will, you, you are not able to uh, be part of the, the YOSC research product catalog. So, and this is important. So. We, 2023 is, is critical. Please put it in your in your plans, the updates. We are available to support. Uh, we are available to push also the software platform communities to to support or to or to provide the, the documentation and the information about this. But uh, make your requests if you need support. <clears throat> Implementation of the YOSC research uh, resource onboarding workflow. This is what we are working. There is a link between the provide management team in, in open air and uh, uh, the work package that is working in YOSC future on uh, the, the onboarding or the of the resource um, of the resources of the research product catalog. Okay. So this is important and we are working. All the details are not yet available. There are some information, important information in the, available in the in the in the YOSC portal um, about the onboarding. Uh, but we are working on the, making clear the workflow and providing support to those that want. So um, we are in the implementation process. So this is what we need to work. Be aware of that, that we don't have, we may not have all the answers now. And in terms of uh, Workflow that we want to follow, yes, in terms of the, the real implementation, no. Third one, uh, deployment of the new user statistics report based on the release five of the counter code of practice. This is important. This will improve a lot the information that we can provide uh, to you. Uh, in fact, we are, we, we are already uh, uh, gathering the information based on the counter uh, five. Uh, we have that information. What we need is we expose it to you and for you in order for you to consume. I'm not sure, Dimitris, if you want to add something uh, um, to make it more clear. So this is really need to, we just need to update uh, the information that we have in the dashboard, the way that you can interact with the dashboard. Now you have an area, if you are part of the user statistics, if you are um, consuming the service, you have an area to, to get the reports. The reports that you can get follow the release four. What we want is to integrate the release five and uh, take out the release four. We asked it in a previous call about if you want to keep both, maybe we will keep but for some times, one or two months, but what I, we really need to offer is only to offer the, the reports based on the release five that they are more uh, rich and this is what the community needs. Um, Just checking if um, Dimitri is still here. No, I saw it in the beginning. Maybe okay, no problem. So we, I think, be aware of that. What is important is that ah, and, and the other thing is that of course, if you want, if you are not part of the of the of the service, you go to Open Air Provide. You have a tab specific for the user accounts. You need to enable the the service. This is not an automatic service because you will receive a tracker code. You will receive some instruction how to uh, enable the service in your site because uh, this is uh, this service is uh, is invasive because you need to uh, put a piece of code in your data source in order for Open Air to start tracking 
uh, the logs of your data source, but it's not so difficult. And for some software platforms and versions of the some, some from from ePrints or from this space, for example, there are clear instructions and it's quite easy for you to manage. So if you put this also in your plans, if you want to benefit from this service, and I think it's good because open air is becoming a, an important hub for users counts. Uh, this information will be also consumable from the YOSC portal, and I think this is relevant for you to know. And 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 and, and we we have we are compliant with the 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 last version of Counter, which is which is also relevant. Um, things also that came from the community and requests from the community uh, about the broker events if you have ideas about new metadata enrichments that you think it's useful for, for you to receive that you see it in the open air graph and maybe we can deliver it by the broker service and make it visible in the enrichments that you have so you can also do the, the same you can suggest us in the survey or send us an email, but in the survey is good. What we are thinking about is to integrate the new broker events, uh, the, the subjects from SDGs and from FOSS. I think this is important for you to be aware. Maybe some of you are not aware, so I will present it. We are, we, we are, we are still in, a, let's say, in the testing phase, we need to receive feedback and to better assess the quality of the of the the, the graph that we produce, the content in the graph that we produce it with these links for the sustainable the sustainable development the, uh, goals and the fields of science in our graph, but be aware that we have this information. So I think this is a bit unique in terms of discovery services, which is good in explore.openair.eu. You can see the results. It's something in beta. Okay, there is a feedback button that you can also provide feedback. So the idea is that we uh, uh, present the content uh, of the open air infrastructure and in our graph uh, this information we are assessing uh, the 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 mining that we did for that uh, the quality uh, of the algorithm to improve the, our algorithms but i think this is what what we have is already good i like to see it as a consumer the person from the libraries world i i like to see this and for sure, I can imagine that maybe in the uh, education or in the clean energy um, uh, subject goal, maybe there are some information that is wrong, wrongly presented here, but this is something that we can improve. And the idea is that when we have, we are more um, confident with the data that we have here after the process of uh, assessing this, we can put it available in the broker events and send it back to you. And then if you want, if you was use subjects, for example, in your repository or in your services, you can improve the metadata in, in your site uh, following the, the SDGs, for example, or because we did the same for the fields of science, for, for, for FOSS that uh, it's used in several research institutions for, for different uh, proposals to present or even for assessing to represent the activity of the research in the institution, etc. So we also have this in terms of outputs, I think it's good to have this presented um, following SDGs and, 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 and FOSS which I think it's it's interesting. And this is something that is enriching our graph. And this is something that is enriching our services and our providers can benefit. This is the idea. So for sure, this development is not something to occur in the first, uh, let's say, maybe the first uh, four or five months is for sure but maybe after we can do something because it's easy to implement we already check it uh, it's a question of give some time for better assessment and then uh, make it available here but but we will see we will see this is something that we would like to have 
Open Air is also updating the different dashboards that we have. So you can see if you look to the, if you have access to other services like the Explore, or if we have access to, to other services like, for example, Monitor for funders and for, for institutions, you can see that uh, there are some differences in terms of, um, of layout, let's say, uh, compared to the provide dashboard. So we will also work a bit on the on improving the, the on updating the dashboard user interface. We need to do it for the use discounts service because we never work on that because we were updating the functionalities, the data, the data content, etc. Now we are we, we have that and we need to work on that. Um, but we will also do it for other parts to align a bit with the, the, the interface from other dashboards in open air um, ecosystem services, let's say. And uh, uh, we will we are working and we will have novelties also during 2023 about the fair uh, the fair validator uh, in terms of the the user interface the uh, the endpoints, uh, the way that we we are validating the the fairness of the data objects, um, and then we we are working on the validator to improve a bit the, the validator to have also uh, a version, a standalone version of this. So we will work on that, and I think this is useful. Validator is a very useful service uh, that you can use to assess to test the compliance against the open air guidelines, but it also, you can also use it um, with different, with other proposals, okay? Uh, testing the compliance against the, the guidelines is also testing the, some, some let's say the quality of your metadata. I'm not sure, the, um, Leonidas, if you want to say something about this or what are the plans, what are the recent uh, work that you, that we are doing? Yes, yes, thank you, Pedro. Uh, well, regarding the fair validator, in addition to the things that Pedro, Pedro mentioned, currently we're in a, a beta stage where we, we have developed the validator for data objects. <clears throat> it is based on uh, the, the rules from uh, given from the RDA da data maturity model and the fair is fair data object assessment metrics. It is a combination. Mm -hmm. of these rules and uh, several of these uh, rules are uh, fulfilled regarding the fairness of the metadata by just uh, being uh, compliant with specific uh, uh, open air guidelines through version three and four. Uh, so far, these are the details of the service. Okay. Uh, currently, as I said, we are in the beta stage, and after a few tests that we plan to to have internally in open air, we will then uh, give the service uh, for evaluation and feedback. And uh, first of all, to to you, to all yes. the repository managers. Yes. Okay. Great. When we have any novelty, even in the testing phase, I think it's good that some of you are that usually are part of this uh, community calls can can also uh, test and, and and give your feedback. I think this is a useful service. There are some tools to assess the fairness, let's say, and and this is one of the the, the tools, and I think it's useful. We are improving the tool based on some feedback. I think it's good. So Leonid has already presented what is the rationale behind this tool and I think this is a useful tool based on the on the importance of, of fairness currently for, for to access the content that we have in our repositories and then the, the let's say the, the object itself in terms of uh, compliance with the fair principles. Okay, thank you Leonidas. Um, from from uh, Andre Andre prepared some um, some some topics that uh, people already suggested in the surveys uh, the survey that we already invited to 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 reply, so we will we will have this survey open for like the coming two weeks uh, let's say um, not sure if until the end of January but maybe until the end of January I think it's useful to receive your feedback during the 
the this first month of the year uh, so please check it we we receive uh, for example two topics uh, to be addressed in the community calls which i think is good also so uh, people want to uh, someone suggested to this to to have a more detailed information about the guidelines about the uses of control vocabularies and about the about certification uh, which is and the relation between the yosk and open air so we try to keep people informed i must say that we will try to give information uh, every call about this integration between provide and, and the onboarding in the osc about the research product catalog uh, but sometimes we don't do uh, at least i myself i don't have the, the the clear information to give we need uh, someone else but we have the persons in open air to, to give, give, give that information so and i think this is these are important topics control vocabularies are critical there is an alignment between open air and the different control vocabularies that are placed in our guidelines, which is critical. Um, the control vocabularies from the Confederation of Open Access Repositories, um, some others related with 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 data seat, etc. So it's good to discuss. I think it's important. The guidelines are an important topic itself. Uh, in, Updates to the guidelines are critical because of yours, but are critical because the guidelines are being used in different uh, regions of the world. So it's important to say that uh, the open air guidelines are used in the, in, the, in the network of repositories in Canada, in Japan, uh, are, are critical in terms of implementation in the in the in uh, a similar network as open air in, in Latin America, La Referencia. So in fact, they are not the open air guidelines, they are the open air world guidelines. So, and uh, one of the decisions that were taken in the, in the last, uh, in, in the, not in the last, the, 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 the general assembly of open air in September last year uh, was to, 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 to create a working group uh, with persons from all over the world to discuss and 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 work on the update of the guidelines. So uh, hopefully in the coming months we will have novelties about that and for and we want to have in the next uh, open repositories conference in in, in June um, a dedicated session or at least some parallel discussions about this. If if it is possible to have a dedicated session, it's great. If it's not, we'll try to have a meeting about this together with the community about the guidelines. But 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 we are working also on, on updates. So so a good suggestion and we will accept this suggestion and, and discuss in one of the upcoming meetings for sure in the la in the first semester we will have one community call dedicated to guidelines and control vocabularies the other one is the first time that i'm reading because andre prepared this how to download a file with all the metadata enrichment suggestions yes uh, this is uh, okay. This is related for those that are not aware. This is related with the metadata enrichment, the results of the broker metadata enrichment, the broker events. Uh, we have the metadata enrichments available from the broker events um, only for manual, let's say, curation. Uh, we have uh, uh, we did a, a, um, a project with the. Uh, a company for science that did an integration between the broker API and the space crease uh, provide the service provided by 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 for science uh, and um, and this is something that we really need to work so hopefully this will be made uh, available in one of the versions of this space seven uh, i'm not being clear and, and and say which version because um this possibility to to download files or to have a better interaction and to to make it more smooth and easy to accept and to update and uh, not doing it clearly totally manually um uh, it was done by for science in another project already with the funding from yosk future um but we are expecting that the the community assess this implementation and accept it as part of the default version of uh, this space seven 
it was not possible for three, uh, for four, uh, it will be difficult, and for five, I hope. So uh, 7.5, I hope that we have this implementation for this space. And we are waiting for other requests to work with others, uh, also to have the same. I think this will be also possible in Invenue, uh, RDM, uh, it will be great also to work in others with others. Uh, we are uh, aware of some interest from other software platforms, but we don't have clear information. So I think we have more clear information about this too that I said, and we we have already an implementation in this space crease, and um, it's ready. So, but we need to assess a committer from this space need to assess it in order to have it available in this space uh, seven dot. Something I hope dot seven the seven dot five sorry seven dot five this space seven dot five. If I say something that is not clear, please please ask. So six things that we want to work on the coming uh, this year, not in the coming year, this year, um, related with different things. Uh, we have a quite mature service. Of course, we need to improve it. I think. The broker events and the, the the way that people can interact with the metadata in regions is something that we need to work. The users counts is something that is critical. We need to work. The services is, is quite relevant. Unfortunately, we have some issues in the past with the quality of the data. Now we are confident the data is good. The data that we are collecting from the data sources that are part of this service is really good, but we need to improve the way that the, the, we... we uh, the interface that we made available to the user. So let's see if we can work on that. And we need you to, 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 to make your requests. Um, and then the, the, the third highlight is the, the, the IOSC, the research product catalog that we are working. So topics to be discussed. I, I hope that in the, like, I'm not sure, but maybe March or April, we can dedicate a call and we can uh, have uh, two or three use cases from this space key crease. And if we have already that available for version uh, 7.5 in this space, we can uh, present it in a demo, the way it works uh, to uh, update the information based on metadata enrichment from this space. At least I think we can, we can have. And if, if there are others that are using, uh, please this okay uh, this is coming to an end we just I ju we just put again the slides and Leonidas if you want also to say something I just put some slides here so about the campaign uh, I already mentioned we need to if you are a data source compliant with the guidelines the basic compliance level of version 2 please work put in your plans in your action plans for this to 2023 to update this for sure, for some, it will be easy. For others, it will be more difficult. We are here to support. If we can support, we will give you support and we can try to find support for you if you are not able. Uh, the, 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 the main idea is that uh, it's important to, technologically speaking, uh, it's important to make this update to be fully embedded in the IOSC infrastructure. So you are you will only be able to be part of the IOSC research product catalog if uh, you are 3.0 or 4.0 compliant. This is critical. This is why we are pushing this. So we are now initiating this campaign and contacting all the repositories, driver compliant and 2.0 compliant, and explaining in detail and providing the support and the documentation how to update from these three guidelines on the left to the, the two guidelines uh, on, on, on the right to 3.0, 4.0, uh, because the, the, the information that we can consume, so we are talking about um, licenses, uh, sets, links to projects, uh, control vocabularies, everything is part of 3.0 and 4.0. And this is this is important for, for us to update. And for some of you, it will be easy. Don't hesitate to contact. Um, so we are contacting the repository managers. 
uh, we already provided the information in the last community call. If you want to hear something, go to the recordings of the last community call. Uh, it was the last, Andre. Yes, the last one that was dedicated to this one. So early, early December. Um, and 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 this is uh, one of apart from the other reason in terms of metadata quality, and uh, in terms of metadata quality, and in terms of uh, of um, uh, technolo technological developments, there is this main reason for the YOSC um, research product catalog in order for you to become a data source, providing content uh, to YOSC. Uh, if you want to make your data records, your publication records uh, from your repository, for example, uh, it's important to have the compliance with these guidelines. And uh, so I, I will not go to the detail of this. I'm just repeating this slide from the last community call. For You can see the onboarding uh, here on the second workflow, the onboarding of product resources is where uh, we are from what we are talking about. So you registered your uh, data source profile. If you are part of OpenAir already, by default, you can apply this registry. And the, the validation process is automatically uh, done. So if you are part of OpenAir, we will complete the information of this registry based on the information that you have in as a data source of open air. Uh, and then uh, by default, you are part, of course, uh, in the onboarding of yours, you, you, you need to, to validate, but, but um, this validation uh, will be confirmed in the workflow of the YOSC uh, portal onboarding team. And then uh, we will, you will have your information visible in the product catalog. This is the way that, that, that it works in terms of steps. Uh, and they also prepared this slide for us. Uh, so the provider register the data source. The, the pod team, the pod here is the YOSC portal onboarding team proceeds with the service onboarding. It's included in the YOSC catalog and then, the, and then the, the, it's available in the research product uh, catalog. So this is this is important. We are working on this on this clear implementation from both sides. Not only when you register in the OSC, but also when you the way that interact the provide open air provide interact with the the, the onboarding in in OSC. But we will let you know. I think I don't know, but maybe in in, in March April things will be more clear for us to provide information about this. Okay. Comments in the chat. And I shared several links. So we didn't uh, ask that question that I but we reply. Um, we have a question from Marie Claude asking if uh, data site comments repositories consider these sites for sharing open OR and free, free data. What is this? Okay, uh, let me think. Our data set comments repositories consider. Not sure if I understand the question, but I think uh, okay. Um, this question makes sense. But let me let me see if I can reply properly. So, um, let's say that the the data side com comments content is part of the research graph of OpenAI. Okay, it's part, uh, but because of the metadata associated to the DOIs, not because of you providing content. So we have the content in our graph, but we, you, we don't have you as a data source providing that content. So we have the content, but not 
So we have the content and and your content, but 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 not because you are a provider of that content, because of that the city. I'm not sure if I'm replying to the question. Um, can you see my screen, please? Oh, yes. So I think I'm, I'm right. Yes, this is. Was the, the the answer the answer make sense, uh, Marie? Can you do you want to? So your question is okay. If this we we are not using this repositories list as an authoritative link, so we are not using this. So please help me to reply properly to your question. Feel free to to. Uh, maybe I can um, give some uh, explanation about that. In yes, fact, please. for example, for our institutional repository, data repository, we registered into data site commands with mm -hmm. uh, DOI. Yes. And besides, we registered uh, in fair sharing and risk free data. Mm -hmm. But some repository, uh, haven't uh, haven't met that, so uh, mm -hmm. I uh, suggested that uh, maybe uh, you can discuss this point with data site. Yes. I know that data site is uh, uh, speaking with uh, is uh, contacting fair sharing to work together. Mm -hmm. But I think it will be interesting to uh, investigate this uh yes uh, thank you no yes 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 no, i understand maybe 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 paulo mangi our cto knows more and for sure because we are also in touch with we work with data seat in different uh, areas we work together also in the rda working groups and when we are in touch and we collaborate um, yeah uh, this century, okay. And realizing this, uh, that they present also this, they have a kind of ID. Also. Maybe via the PID graph, mm -hmm. you could yes. retrieve the repository recording, yes, yes. recording mm -hmm. in data science comments with the, their DUI. Yes, as I said, the, the content, uh, because we, 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 we harvest from data site and we have the content because we have the DOIs, but we don't identify. And then, of course, um, we know the provenance, but we the, the, the provider of that metadata is data site and not data repository. For example, I was, I was checking my repository here from my university, if it is available here, okay? And, okay. and, and I was checking a real case just to understand your proper yes. your questions because yes. we we cannot know everything <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> at least uh, yes but I understand your point so the content we have you know, we have from data site and we have from data repository for example in open air but if we we need to check so thank you for your question so it's something that I will uh, I will um, I will ask. Paulo Mangi, if we have any novelty and if there is something relevant, then we can send you send to you the reply. Okay. Maybe we, maybe we can put this as a ticket and Andre. Maybe if you if you allow us, Maria, uh, we will put this as a help desk ticket and then yes, we reply course. to you directly based on what uh, Paulo yes. sent me. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Checking the checking the okay. I think the we have uh, two questions from Dimitri in the chat. Okay, now the last one. Okay, I was checking the Dimitri. Thank you also for this interaction. We saw several a few technical issues. Uh, the main one is being that our data repository uh, in Ria. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, 
So this request that we have here is uh, similar to some of the people that uh, sometimes uh, we want to change the names or we want to merge. So we need to do that. Um, we already talked about this, uh, remember? So we need to, to, to do this, uh, to merge. Uh, to merge, so you don't have, uh, Andre. Andre can manage that, okay? Uh, Andre for sure will manage this. And um, Andre will contact you because we can contact, we can check uh, the user of the other repository that you don't manage and uh, we can follow this approach. But, uh, but, uh, but in our data source manager, we need to, um, to disable one, okay? We need to disable one. Uh, okay. Okay. Great, thank you. But did you, did you manage to update the information in your main repository? In the first one, yes. Yes, okay, because I remember to provide you access in, in the OSC symposium, I suppose. And uh, okay, okay, let's see. So Andre, do you have the information for this case? If we have the contact from Dimitris, then we can check the other one. Okay, I'm just checking. We are in the same room. This is why I'm looking to Andre. Okay, Andre can provide support to you and solve this problem. If others have, this kind of issues and sometimes two entries, etc. We can contact you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I, in fact, I need to. If you want to stay uh, to discuss something with Andre or you need this, please stay. I need to really to close this uh, call as I need to join in another session that I'm already, in fact, one minute late. But it was a pleasure to give all this information, and it's also good to have all these interactions also here in the in the chat. So. You are invited to the upcoming call. We have already the dates available. It's interesting that the first Wednesday of the month in February and in March is the first of February and the first of March. Easy to 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 know. Uh, and we have we have planned the, the community calls for this first semester. Okay, and uh, subscribe to our newsletter uh, if you are not subscribed. Thank you very much. And we. We close the, the call here, uh, at least I'm leaving, and then we keep the call open for one minute just for you to, 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 to copy-paste some of the links available, okay? Thank you very much.